Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a cold banker, Dean Hop Realtor. Well, today I'm back out of the beautiful town of New Braunfels in the community of Havenwood. This is a wonderful luxury community filled with one plus acre lots. And the house behind me was built in 2013. It is a five bedroom, five and a half bath, just over 4,800 square feet, and it has a beautiful pool. Let's go check it out. It's a very nicely done custom home in a very quiet community. We are kind of just off of Highway 306 in New Braunfels, a very short top drive to Green Hall and all that good stuff. Um, if you're looking on map, look for 306 and 35, kind of where we, I like to call Buckyville, where we have our Buckies at. But this is a beautiful house. And uh, let me know what you guys think about these steps here. This is a little different with uh, the zoysia grass, what I really liked, really thick, but they got this little grass going up in between each one of them. Let me know what y'all think of that. I'm not sure about my opinion on it yet. All right, let's head on inside. I'm loving these frosted doors, and if you can see the shadows, my little assistant Amy is going to be here today. Hi. Hi, Amy. All right, right when you walk in, I love the big glass wall. I mean, this is a huge, beautiful window where you can see the pool and just really nice uh, touch. Checking you come right into the main living space when you take a left. Some beautiful couches, love how they've decorated. But once again, more windows showcasing everything. Big, beautiful fireplace. Just a lot of detail. You do see the speakers are built in. We have a lovely formal dining room with some really cool light fixtures up there. Now someone is living in this house currently, so I'm gonna do my best to respect their privacy and not show off too many family pictures. Definitely love the cabinets they put in here. Now seeing the breakfast nook, this beautiful quartz countertop. You do have an oversized refrigerator and a butler pantry kind of set up back here. We've got a wine chiller. We've got some tasty bourbons in this house. I love that. And check out this wine rack. It's so big that you need a ladder just to get the one up there. Yes, you would need a little ladder to get up there, but that's okay. Good wine is worth uh, climbing a ladder for. All right, we do have uh, some high-end, uh, well, this is GE's highest end product, but you're gonna have a nice built-in oven, and this is gonna be really, this is not just a regular microwave, it's gonna have a bunch of other nice features to it. What do you think of that sink, Amy? It's so cool. It is kinda cool, isn't it? That's going to be your uh, drinking water. It's going to have its own filter. So you can have filtered water straight from there. You don't have to get it from the refrigerator. But you do have a beautiful uh, porcelain single basin sink. Checking out how they have everything. Uh, I really do like how this is all kind of set up. And speaking of setting up, let's check out this oven. Amy, should we throw you in there and try to cook you? No? No, okay. No. <laughs> but you do have two sides, very nice, and uh, plenty of space, six burners, and of course you gotta have your griddle place, and you won't know how important that is until you're cooking some bacon on it, and that comes in real handy. All right, let's head over to this direction first. We do have a full-size pantry. Plenty of pantry space. And uh, this is gonna be, this house doesn't have a formal, formal office to where if you're trying to work from home all the time, they do have a built-in office. So perfect for kids doing homework or if you're doing like a husband and wife type team. Uh, so this is the only designated office space. And check out the detail in this door. I have tried to move it. It is pretty substantial and heavy, pretty much for looks only. 
All right, this is your mud room. You can tell the sellers do have quite a few kids, hence so many uh, cabinet space, jackets, shoe spots. There are four bedrooms upstairs. We're gonna go up there in a second, but for now, let's check out this garage. This is the two car garage section, but wait, there is more. You're gonna have another two and a half car section back here. So here's another two plus garage, plenty of storage space back there, and a nice little setup for your water heater, water softener, and they do have an in-home vacuum. I'll kind of show you that in a second. This wall space here goes to another storage closet that has, so, if you're looking for a place for some storage, I'll show you this real quick. It's kind of messy, but this goes all the way through to the other little door back that away. So, mm-hmm. Can you shut that door over there, Amy? Thank you. All right. So that's a pretty substantial closet, but talk about substantial. Check out this laundry room. Now, if you've got a group of kids having two sets of washer and dryers, Definitely better than having one set. Talk about being efficient. Come down here, knock it all out in one hour or an hour and a half, however long it takes. But they have an additional, they have a sink. I'm sure that wine rack is gonna go with them. But plenty of really nice cabinet space. Love the uh, blinds. And that's just a little storage closet. All right, Amy, what's this little, what's in here? Right? Um, here? Yeah, what is that? It's a laundry chute. What does a laundry chute do? It's where um, you um, just, um, there's a part upstairs where you just throw the laundry down and it falls down into here. Oh, very convenient. Okay. All right, well, let's go upstairs and you can show me where, the, uh, where you put the laundry in. Okay. They've got a lot of family pictures here, so I'm going to be showing you the stairs. There we go. Good job, me, not showing off their kid pictures. This is the laundry chute. You just take the laundry, you just take your dirty laundry and toss it down there. And it falls down. Very cool. See, that's one of those little features that when you buy a custom built home, they've thought about. So, very neat. Another little feature before we show you the bedrooms. Let me show off their Texas basement room where you can tell the builder and I apologize I do not know who the builder actually is but they have semi finished out this section of the attic so perfect for Christmas decorations and then you have your real attic space you can see they did do the spray foam insulation that goes a long way for keeping your utilities bills down basically making your house a uh, igloo cooler, but plenty of storage space for your Christmas decorations. All right, now on to these bedrooms. We do have four bedrooms all upstairs. Some good sized bedrooms. Two of these have their own private bath. One of them is gonna be a Jack and Jill situation. Nice subway tile going all the way up. All right, these, yep, my daughter's like, okay, this way. This is gonna be a Jack and Jill bathroom setup, but plenty of space in these rooms. And then you've got, you're gonna lead the way. All right, this is gonna be where each person would have their own private sink. And then they're, they are, it is a big shower, so they'll share the Toilet and shower, plenty of linen cabinets, and then this room's gonna have their own private sink as well. Oh, we haven't opened up and shown any of these closets yet. So, all good sized closets. And this is that other bedroom up top. I really like the level of detail they put in. Like I said, those high end shutters are there. This is kind of a little metal frame going around and I like the fact they had the LEDs 
kind of running throughout. I'm sure it's pretty cool seeing this room all lit up with the lights out. All right, let's head on. And we got one more bedroom to look at up here. And they did the same little uh, trim work in this bedroom. Plenty of good high ceilings. All these upstairs rooms still have high ceilings. It's really nice. There's a deer head. There is. Yep, there sure is. They have a deer head. Cool. All right, let's check out this bathroom too. All right, like I said, this the two of these bathrooms have their own full bath. And like I said, oh, that's a pretty deep closet. So cool. Like I said, they're kind of all about the same uh, sinks and stuff. All right, let's head on back downstairs. Loving the railing that they have here. All right, we are now downstairs, coming back into the kitchen area. Like I said, showing you more of this living space. Love the uh, breakfast nook with the curved windows. More cabinets, just really cool. And we do have a full bath. Yes, it is. There we go. My little assistant trying to help me here. All right, so you do have a full shower. <laughs> you like this shower? So, yep, a full shower. Kind of set up there. And the location of this bathroom and shower is really ideal because you can go right outside after you kind of rinse off or rinse off afterwards and you got the pool. I'll go out there and show you that in a second, but I do want to show off this room first. This can be your game room, workout room, movie room, whatever you want. This is a really nice bonus room. So uh, they're using it kind of as a TV room. There's lots of animals. There are lots of animals. Really tall A-frame. It's already got speaker wires in there. I mean, speakers up top. But this is kind of really unique. Uh, got garage door that's kind of open up to the outdoor area. So if you wanted to come in from the kitchen and put the margaritas out here on the shelf, you can. So uh, this house is obviously built for entertaining. So let's check out my favorite entertaining area at the outside. All right, we do have a full built-in kitchen. It's got, we got your refrigerator, your little sink area, a nice full-size grill. Your perfect little hanging out uh, entertainment space. Ooh, I didn't see that before. They got a built-in TV an outdoor rated TV and the big ass fan. I'm not cussing, it's actually a company called Big Ass Fan. Yes, my daughter loves this tiger. And I heard a Mm hmm. All right. Um, I always try to make people pay attention to where the sun is at. Um, the backyard does face west, but where I'm facing right here is kind of true west. So these oak trees are going to block a lot of that afternoon sun if you're trying to have happy hour. But they've also got a roll down screen up there. If that's still not adding enough sun protection, you can roll that screen down. So I definitely love this pool area. Beautiful hot tub setup. And that is a gorgeous pool. My daughter's like, I love this pool. All right, remember this is on 2.6 acres. They do have a fence going around the whole circumference of it. Uh, yeah, I'm saying, hopefully I said that right. Uh, the whole perimeter of this 
2.6 acres is all fenced in. You can see the wrought iron fence I showed you a second ago, and then you have the kind of a another type of fence that goes back there, and it's gonna run the whole length of this lot. Beautiful, really cool playground area. You can tell these people are big on their kids. Perfect fire pit section. We are almost to October, so soon that fire pit will be able to get some good use. Now, I'm sure they're gonna take this little batting cage thing with them. Well, I just wanted to walk out here, kind of show you, they have some sections that they've maintained as a yard and some areas that they've kept natural. So perfect for if you wanted to build a little walking trails or something through here. Do kind of got a little bit of a low area for water, water drainage. And then it kind of goes back through there. This place is chock full of cedars and some oaks, but very beautiful. All right, let's head on back inside because the owner suite is really nice. Yes, they do have a playground. Yes, don't worry about it. Just come on down, Amy. It's not your stuff. That's what happens when you bring your kiddo to uh, to do a video. They want to play on stuff that's not theirs. Amy, down. All right. Uh, good time to point out this beautiful metal roof. I mean, though, these are going to be a lot more durable than your standard tile shingle roofs. So uh, when people are asking me if metal roofs are good value, they actually will increase the value of the house per an appraiser. All right, let's head on back inside. I want to show show you off this owner suite and their closet. Their closet is pretty impressive. Beautiful flooring in this house. Nice, just nice built-ins. We're back. We're back at the main door in case you lost where you're at. Here's this wall of windows and a powder room for your guest and it's very nicely done. Definitely like the uh, wall going up. All right, coming into the owner's suite. Tall ceilings, got the shutters throughout. Another barn door, which is more just for looks. I've tried moving it. That does not move very well but uh love the detail in this bathroom in my last video i mentioned balance and i was like oh there we go another bathroom that's just balanced really nicely because you do have uh the two vanities straight across from each other water closet more linen closet right over here and this kind of unique little privacy walls so you don't have to remember if you've been watching my videos for a while I joke around about the windows and you better work out so because you people stand up from the tub and they'll see all your bits and pieces well they put a wall up there so you can still have that natural light and a beautiful shower it does have the rain shower all the way up top and um, the listing agent said there is a secret uh, uh, vault type area in there, but I'm not going to mess around with trying to get that window open. I, we played with it a little bit, but I don't want to break anything. All right, check out this closet. Yes, this is the closet. Closets with its own makeup uh, table. I don't know if I've ever, ever seen that before in a closet, but I definitely kind of like it. So plenty of room for shoes, everything you want, all in one spot. All 
Oh, I haven't mentioned it before, but they are asking as of, what is today, about 25 September 2021, 1.6 million for this house. It just came on the market about two days ago. So um, it's, uh, this is new, one of my real estate clients might be interested in this house. So of course that's why I'm doing this video. I was going to wrap up the tour of this beautiful custom home built in the Havenwood community of uh, New Braunfels, Texas. Now, a quick correction on the price. As of today, it is listed for 1.625. Just want to make sure I get the right numbers out there for you. Anyways, the seller is represented by a seller agent. I can represent anybody as a buying agent because we have one of my potential out-of-state clients is interested in this house and if you are looking for more information feel free to reach out to me and of course if you like this video hit that subscribe button and the like button and keep sharing with your friends all right take care now bye amy where are we at right now we're at the amenity center oh what does the havenwood community amenity center have it has um a tennis ball court over there a tennis court cool uh huh. It has a playground. Oh. And it has a pool over here. Okay, let's get a quick look at the playground and then uh, you can show me the pool. Okay. All right, there's the playground. That's it. There is a big place here for a nice pavilion for parents to sit. Okay, come show me the pool, Amy. Yep, you're right. You've got a kiddie pool back in this section. Now, you are going to see a lot of golf carts cruising around this neighborhood uh, because. Well, they're kind of neat to have, especially getting around. Now well, they do got to kind of close right now, but let's show the pool anyways. All right, there is the big pool. Very nice. All right, Amy, let's wrap this video up. What do you need to tell them? Um... Hit that, what buttons? Okay, thank you. Bye now.